Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I apologize for the lighting right now. The lighting is good, but there's also some sunspots because it is earlier in the morning. So that may go away throughout the video, but hopefully you don't mind. This video was actually requested, surprisingly enough, considering I have gone over my grocery budget just about every month since I started this year and every month of my adult life. <laughs> However, this person said my budget for food per month is $250 and that includes going out to eat, that includes other groceries like toiletries, things like that. And this person, um, I won't say her name in case she doesn't want it to be said, but this person said that she spends, I think she said $400 a month on just herself for groceries. So she wanted to know what I purchase and if I have any you know, grocery shopping tips. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Even though I don't stay under budget for my groceries, but maybe 250 for an individual isn't too bad. I don't know, or 300 I guess I spend. To start, I would like to say that I do have my main channel, my lifestyle channel, where I share a lot of the foods that I'm eating. And I also wanna say that I am vegan, which I've been vegan since 2016, vegetarian before that. So I think for a lot of people, meat and other animal products can add up and being vegan can be expensive for sure, depending on what you purchase, but it's pretty affordable. Um, it actually helps you to save money. So I wanted to start with that. And I do have several tips that help me to lower my grocery budget or just to spend less on food. And here we go. Number one is an obvious one and one you've probably heard before, which is to have a list. 100% you've got to go to the grocery store with a list. And if you don't have a list, I recommend waiting until you do have one because typically what's gonna happen is you're gonna go to the grocery store and you're probably gonna be hungry or in a rush or whatever, just not in the best decision-making mode when you get to the grocery store and you are going to buy more than you need or unnecessary things that are just gonna go to waste and that's how you end up spending more money. Now, when you're making your list, I suggest you make it based on what you're going to eat through the week, obviously. For me personally, I meal prep every weekend. So I plan out my meals and I eat basically the same thing every day for five to six days. And then I'll meal prep again, a different set of meals, repeat, repeat, repeat. And this helps a ton. Now you don't have to meal prep the same things if you don't want to. You could meal prep different meals, um, but also even if you just plan out your meals for the week exactly what you're going to have for dinner and then you could have that for leftovers the next day at lunchtime and so on. Breakfast, in my opinion, is always relatively simple. I stick to kind of the basics and I'll talk about a lot of the staple items that I do buy. When you have an idea in mind of what you're going to eat, actually just 100% know what you're gonna eat for that week, then you will save money at the grocery store because you will have a list of every single item that you will need and how much of it you will need, which is important because you know, if you buy too many tomatoes or way too much of some other item that is not going to be long lasting, then you're gonna end up throwing it away, which is a waste of money and a waste of food, of course. And it also saves you time when you go to the grocery store, which is a huge plus. My second tip is to purchase primarily whole foods. And again, this may be an obvious tip, but I think people, have the misconception that being vegan or eating a whole food diet is expensive and that is not true at all. Those are the most affordable foods. And I do have a video on my other channel listing all of the vegan staple items that I purchased, so I'll link that down below. And you know, everything changes from time to time. It'll I'll go through a phase of wanting something or I won't buy something for some time that I consider a staple item. But for the most part, I stick to whole foods and avoid processed goods because the processed foods, though it seems like a good deal, you know, those things that are cheap, cereals, frozen foods, things like that, it may seem cheap, but 
it's not you are you can make that meal or whatever it is that you're purchasing on your own and it will be a lot cheaper or if you're buying something that is processed it's typically not going to fill you up or give you the right nutrients and then you're just going to feel hungrier and need more food so you're going to spend more money <laughs> so not only are whole foods healthier but they are cheaper so for the most part that's going to be like white rice brown rice whatever uh, beans, I prefer to buy canned beans, but even cheaper are dry beans that you would soak and then you could cook them. Lentils, any other legumes. Oats, oats are another big one. Really anything that comes from earth itself. You know, those are gonna be the most affordable and you can typically buy them in bulk and that would save you even more money and they last long as well. My third tip is to shop different stores. Now this may be an inconvenience for some people or not possible for some people, but where I live and you know the, the surrounding areas, it's very easy to find multiple grocery stores with various sales or better deals on certain things. Now obviously the stores that I shop at may not be where you live, so the two common stores that I go to are Sprouts and Kroger. I live in Georgia, those are very common, and I think they are, I don't, I don't know exactly all the states that they're in, but I know that there's alternatives, like in California, the Kroger there is called Ralph's, but sister companies or something, I don't know. Majority of the time I shop at Sprouts, However, their produce is the best price and the best quality, in my opinion, compared to Kroger. So I always get my produce at Sprouts. Sometimes I'll buy dry goods there or anything like that, um, frozen stuff. But Kroger has the best deal on dry goods. Obviously, I'm sure department, bigger department stores like Costco or Sam's Club would have better deals on really big items, bulk items, but I don't find that necessary. I don't have a membership and I, I don't need, you know, 10 pounds of rice. So when I go to Kroger, I will typically stock up on all of those things like peanut butter, rice, canned beans, because at Kroger, they're typically 50 cents, $1 cheaper per can or per pound for those dry good items, because at Sprouts, everything is like organic and more expensive or not everything but most of the dry goods are more expensive at sprouts and going off of that tip the next tip is to shop based on sales and this is relatively simple in my opinion because typically you can just pull up the weekly ad on your phone or on your computer or whatever and you can see their sales for the week typically if something's on sale i can plan my meals around that item or items and that would save me money on groceries. It's not always easy to do just depending on what the sales are for the week or for the month, but it's definitely worth it to look into that. I don't think it requires that much more effort when you're planning your meals because you can just skim through the weekly ad and see if there's anything that you could put into your meal plan that would be on sale and then you can save the money there. My next tip is also to check grocery store apps because I feel like a lot of people don't know that grocery stores have apps. Like everything has an app now, but a lot of people don't have them. And Sprouts, Kroger, uh, I don't know about other ones, but they have apps with coupons on them that you can either put to your Kroger card or you can scan the coupons at the store. And same thing goes here. You know, you could find something that has a sale or a coupon and then you could base your meals around that or put that somewhere in your meal plan to save money on it. Just make sure you remember to use it. At Kroger it's pretty easy, but at Sprouts you do have to scan your phone. The other app, the only app that I use for grocery coupons is Ibotta. I think I have a code or something. I'll link it down below. I don't know if you get money or I can't remember, but I will link my code down below if you don't have the Ibotta app yet. To me, that's the only app that's been worthwhile. And even more so if you are not vegan and you buy more processed items, then you would probably save more money than, than I even do. And I, I save a pretty decent amount. It's the only app worth using to me because I don't like to spend hours and hours looking for coupons or clipping coupons, anything like that. I don't think 
the time invested is worth the money that I save unless you're like an extreme couponer. But that's the only grocery app I use and uh, it's very simple to use. All you do is go shopping and you could look at the app before going to the store so that you can again shop based on the items that you have coupons for, but you don't actually get to redeem the coupons until after you make the purchase. Then you either scan your receipt or link your account to whatever store you're going to and then you take photos of the barcode for each product and then you, you get the money. You do have to reach $20 to withdraw money, but I'm pulling it up now so I can tell you the actual amount that I have made thus far. Okay, so my lifetime earnings, $200.99. I've had this for a couple of years, so obviously it's nothing significant, but I like to get the occasional $20 and so like, let's see, in June, I saved almost $7. Back in March, almost five. February, $7. It just depends on what coupons they have throughout the month, but I find it the best app to use for coupons. If there are other ones that you guys use and recommend, please comment those down below. Most importantly, in my opinion, are the foods that you buy. And the reason I typically go over on my groceries is because I like to buy higher quality foods, not necessarily organic, but I do prefer to get healthier options. And also vegan meats and things like that, if I do buy them, are more expensive. But things like basic items, tofu, tempeh, those are relatively cheap. But if you're gonna buy mock vegan meat that's in the frozen section, that's a lot more per serving. I like my meals to be relatively simple. It's usually like a carb, a vegetable, and a protein. Always, my meals are very simple, or I can cook them in one pot so I can save time and save dishes. <laughs> so I'll link a few blog posts down below of different meal ideas that I have up on my blog. Whatever I have on my blog, I will link it down below and also any relevant YouTube videos of me meal prepping or the meals that I've made. And even if you look on my Instagram, I have a I have the little highlight story reel. And if you go to vegan food, I take pictures of my food pretty often and they're always quite simple and easy. It's pretty rare for me to purchase treats, any sort of unnecessary junk food I don't buy. That's on occasion, you know, that I'll just, I'll buy like a box of cereal because I'm craving it or ice cream or cookies or something like that. I do not buy that on a regular basis. I think those things are a waste of money and very overpriced for what they are. And I also never buy drinks, like ever. If anything, I will buy like an energy drink once every two to three months. <laughs> So I do not waste my money on sodas or on energy drinks, uh, carbonated water. I don't buy bottled water. I just use the fridge, you know, water dispenser. I think that can really add up your bill if you are buying expensive milks or um, protein shakes, juices, all that stuff. Well, it, like it seems nice to purchase, but to me, not necessarily worth it. If I do purchase anything, it's just gonna be like almond milk for $2, you know? There are some other things, you know, like I'll just buy generic brands depending on what it is. I don't buy organic food. Um, I definitely prefer to purchase store brand of toiletries, like razors and toilet paper, paper towels, anything like that. I'll just buy the store brand because Charmin and all those bigger brands are way more expensive and not worth it. But besides that, I don't really have many other tips. I think I think it just comes down to having a plan, making sure you go to the grocery store with a full stomach so that you are not craving things while you're shopping because I've done that before and you like literally wanna buy every item in your face. So make sure you eat before you go to the grocery store and just look for some coupons. Like I said, I'm obviously not the best at budgeting for my groceries, but I do eat healthy and I am somebody who eats a lot of food. So I, that's kind of my problem is I end up going over budget because I just need more food. <laughs> but this was recommended, so hopefully that was helpful. Comment down below if you have any grocery saving tips 
Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next week.